two men, one mission. To spend 24 hours straight on the London Underground. Made of boys. Side. Cheese. The London Underground was first launched in January 1863 and carries around 4.8 million passengers every single day. The average Londoner spends about 11 and a half days each year on the tube. That's 276 hours a year, 23 hours a month, and it's not because it is fun. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The Central Line is well regarded as the hottest, most cramped, most delayed, most polluted, super bug infested line, and that's before you even get to mention other people's body smells. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, it's not a very nice place to be. Now, here at the Zack and Jay Show, we don't do things in half measures. So we thought we'd see if we could unofficially break a world record by surviving a month's worth of typical commuters tube journeys in one sitting by spending 24 hours straight on London Underground's worst line, the Central Line. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, to witness this mild form of torture exclusively on The Zack and Jay Show. Good morning, world. Oh, it begins. Oh, God. This is 24 hours, starting from <coughs> now. From now. We are not allowed to go back outside of those <laughs> gates until 8 a.m. Saturday morning. So that was it. The timer had started and we made our way underground to the warm, fiery depths of London's worst line. It was 8am so we were just in time for rush hour, which meant no seats, no personal space and no reason for us to even get off. The best start to any morning. Yeah, it's <laughs> 24 hours to go. I'm stood here as if I'm going somewhere. I'm not even going anywhere. Right, so I think we're just about ready to go here. I'm about to close the doors. Yeah, my anxiety is fing moving. It is but oh. I wonder how many stops we have to go by out in 24 hours. So you mean to tell me this is my view for the next 23 and a half hours? Ugh. We're half an hour in. Like, we could easily get robbed. We've got to carry to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crit ball, please, crit ball. Faden boys, and I've always wondered about it because it's like a Wiz Khalifa song. Holla, holla. We are the boys! Oh, what a laugh. Um, what a laugh we have. This is fun. or something. It feels like we're in a small village with a tube. It's so weird. So we were approaching the final few minutes of our first shuttle run and the gravity of the situation had started to settle. We were only 40 minutes in, not even a dent into the full journey. 
but to keep spirits high it was time to see what the out of office girls had packaged in our survival kit. Oh. 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 Look at that camera over here boy. <laughs> vitamins, look at that. What vitamins in that? It's really thoughtful of these guys because they've included a little something when Zach gets bored. <laughs> that's, that's so nice of you out of office. Thank you for that. There you are, Zach. You enjoy, mate. Toothpaste. Got a torch. What the, what's the point in that? Tickles your nose. First round. We have completed it. Now we go. Hola, hola, hola. We are the boys! Go and be dashing this into the bin. Go. Go. In the bin. Quick. One and a half hours into the hell ride while Jay headbanged in his sleep, I took in the beautiful grey views of West London. The journey wasn't truly awful yet, but we took the fresh air when we could. This is Greenford. Please mind the gap and train to West London. Please mind the gap and train to West I don't know if he thinks I'm still filming, but, or if he's actually meditating. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Ah, prank number one, prank number one. Final stop. Final stop. Yeah! Oh. Final stop of our two. This is the first time we've gone from there all the way down to there. It's 11 o'clock, we've been going nearly three hours now. So far, so good. Look at me on the tube. I'm on there for 24 hours. Ah, I'm a vlogger. Ah. <laughs> Say goodbye to Ryslip for the first time. Going back to Epping in Essex <laughs> again. And I'm here for Westfield London. Darkness in three, two, one. Three, two, <laughs> one. Darkness for an hour. Darkness in three, two, one. Ah. One hour of this. Hold up, hold up. We are boys! delirious and the darkness had returned. It was almost like having several mini days in one. Every time we got out of the 40 minute long tunnel we start to feel alive. Anyway, it was time for lunch. Right, it's, it's 10 past 2, we're at Elam Broadway. This is the place where it's got food on the platform. So we're going there, having a quick toilet break and then we're hopping straight back on. It's it's 2 p.m. and we've been to Essex three times <laughs> today. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Off we go again. So we broke all London commuters' unwritten rules of no eating on the tube. The challenge rules were simply more important. Just at Woodford now. Zach's gone to the toilet. Four o'clock now, so we are eight hours in. Jesus Christ, 16 hours left. And uh, for anyone that has been on the underground before, knows that you get a lot of uh. dust up your nose. So I want to do a little test to see just how bad the inside of my nose is. Uh. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, man, it's black. 
Man. That's pollution. We're, we're taking years off our life doing this. Nice, that is horrible. So with the sun setting and eight hours completed, people had gone to work and done productive things with their lives, all in the same time that Jay and I had experienced constant mild torture. The London Underground can be an isolating place, so we set up a hammock to try and make some friends. Sorry for being in a hammock and in your way. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Despite that small slither of human interaction, it was now rush hour once again, and the lifeless zombie nine to fivers were packing themselves in once more. <laughs> This thing is getting unbearable. We don't even get the light outside anymore because everywhere's dark. The lights inside just seem even lighter and we've got like 12 hours to go. Sorry guys, I made a quick mistake. In that moment of despair, I actually mistook it for 12 hours left when in actual fact there's 14. <laughs> just another casual two hours. Two rush hours are done. Now we're going to start getting the drunk people on the way to the night out and then the zombie train will start from like midnight onwards. <laughs> the halfway mark is 8pm and we want to get some dinner so we're going to have to get someone on Instagram to deliver us some dinner. Which reminds me, follow us on Instagram if you want to have a once in a lifetime chance to bring Jay and I dinner, maybe one time or something like that. I don't know. Follow us on Instagram. Woo! These lads saw me on an Instagram live, saw that I was three stops away, pegged it from their house and got to the station and miraculously just saw me lying down. <laughs> Gentlemen, you are the first two people to possess the 500k <laughs> coin. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come a long way in just over a year, but my god, we are just getting started! That's right, Jamie, we've just hit 500,000 subscribers, and we're so excited we created this lovely golden revolving coin with a 500k club. Join it now. We've only produced our thousand. We've got 150 already sold in the pre-sales. So just 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 buy it, just get one quickly before they're all out. You are the first two people to possess the 500k coin. On this planet. On this planet. Oh, actually, man. I'm elated. <laughs> These two gentlemen rode with us all the way out west, where they offered to grab us dinner and wouldn't even take a penny for it. What gentleman? What's your name, bro? I'm Steve, man. Steve. Is it video or snap? Video. Good to meet you, man. Yo, yeah. It's Steve Bo out in the west side. Gee. We're in Elim Brode with my guy on my Gee. right side. Bro. We're on the, on the ride for the 24 hours. Yeah, my so yeah. yeah. <laughs> guy. Subscribe to this guy, man. It's yeah. funny. It's okay. It's what? So that happened, along with another wholesome moment. The boys arrived with our dinner. Oh, that is, smells amazing. You've got Cajun... Oh, this is not fun. It's tapped, bro. What the <laughs> f***? <laughs> that is waving at me as I scrub it. So it's um, 11 20, 16 hours in. How do you feel? Great. Wait, so are we two thirds through? Yeah. There's only one thing for it. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Wait, them boys! You know what, Jay? You look proper comfy there, mate. Yeah, man, it's nice, it's nice. Yeah, I'm really relaxing. M. Huncho in the cut. Come on. Tranquility, yes, all I need. Sixth time we've visited Essex today. This will be the last time today. It's 22.12. So as I was outside giving the two hourly Essex update, Jay had been bullied out of his hammock by a rather scary person. <laughs> Midnight, literally as the clock struck midnight. Yeah. And she got on right, and I was gonna get some fresh air, and she just looked at me emptily as if nothing was there. She was kind of worrying. She was horrible. Right, it is five past midnight, six past midnight. It's just so boring. I want to go sleep, but I now know that this is the time where you're probably not gonna sleep because all the weirdos come out to play. Seven hours, 55 minutes to go. So as Jay got back on board, the zombie train was in full effect, but we wanted people who were awake. So we got the hammock back in action and it wasn't long before they came flocking. This is such a gangster way to travel in the central line. 
so This yeah, man's asking for hammock. Respect that. Like, can I go in the hammock? Yeah, I kind of like exactly. it. Honestly, I'm like, I'm, I'm vibing. Yeah. It's, it's got me really relaxed. Yeah. So, uh, So it seems we had hit the jackpot and landed on a group of Americans and um, official new number one fans of the Zach and Jake show. Why the f are they doing this? If you don't subscribe, <laughs> like and subscribe to whatever the channel name is here. <laughs> if they don't like and subscribe and comment on this f***ing channel name, insert here. Why are they f***ing here? Since to see people on the tube for 24 hours. So this is where the journey started to get a bit wild as our new American friends started making friends with a man called Sam in the next carriage. What's your name? What's my name? What's your name, What's dude? What's your name? Eddie, What's your name? I'm Eddie, bro. Nice to meet you. I'm Eddie. <laughs> What's going on over here? Just look, hello, hello. look, hello. look, hello. look, hello. look, hello. look, 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 It truly felt like I'd slipped into some weird hallucinogenic dreamland. Nothing was real. Sam was a figment of our imagination, and these Americans didn't even exist. I'm sure of it. We've ended on the high. I think we're gonna try and get some sleep now. Just wait out to 8 a.m. The morning birds are chirping, um, but that's it. At this point, from 3 till 7 a.m., we dipped in and out of a weird sleep with all our stuff packed in a bag so we didn't get robbed. At about 7 a.m., the train began to see signs of life again. And as we made it into our final hour run to Elam Broadway, a strong sense of achievement was hard to feel. I wasn't proud of this achievement, but it was achievement at least. So, we stepped off the central line at White City at 8.08am, one day later. Definitely don't try this for yourselves. Subscribe if you're new, follow us on Instagram. See you next Wednesday.